Welcome to my channel. My name is Marty. Thanks for clicking on my video. I have had a great Sunday today. I went to church and my pastor preached in Kings about Elijah and talked about how, you know, he battled with depression and God helped him. He met him where he was and took care of him. And it was an encouraging message that I needed to hear. After church, the ladies of the church had a get together, a meeting, and we ate finger foods and painted afterwards. And that was a lot of fun. Oh, let me show you. It's still wet and it's not finished, but the, this is what we painted. I have some paint here at home and I want to go over the truck and the, actually I want to go over all of it and then finish the leaf in the fall but it was a lot of fun this was the first time that I have been to one of the ladies meetings I haven't been going to this church all that long and everyone made me feel welcome and right at home I knew a lot of the ladies because a lot of them I've them I have known since I was a kid but it was a really great time and I enjoyed it so I thought I would come on here and do a short clothing haul these clothes are from different places so let's just get started with the shoes I have one pair of shoes to show look at how sparkly these shoes are I bought these from shoe show the first of the year and thumbnail <laughs> I have enjoyed wearing them they don't have a lot of give in the arches when you walk so I do not recommend these as shoes to walk a long time in but for just a few hours they're very comfortable and I love them because they're sparkly okay, this shirt I purchased from Kato and I like it. it. It's got the ruffly sleeves. It needs to be ironed, but it's going to be nice for fall. And this came from Kato as well. It is shocking pink, but look at the ruffles. See the ruffles on it? <laughs> I like that. It's kind of, like I said, it's shocking pink, but I like it. I have a pair of boots that are hot pink and they're gonna look really great with this. I'm excited to wear it. This shirt came from Belk. I have worn it a few times and it's very comfortable, but I recommend wearing a tank top underneath it. I have a dark blue tank top that I wear underneath it, but it is very comfortable and I like it. This shirt, like the blue one, came from Belk. Now you might have seen this shirt if you watched my previous video. I wore it in that video. I wore this shirt to church this, this morning, so it's going in the dirty clothes, but this one came from Belk and it's very comfortable. I wanna go back to Belk. They have more shirts this style, but in different prints. I think they had some solid colors I'm not sure about that, but I do know there was some other prints. I said I wanted to go back to Belk. I, I, it just dawned on me. I could order them online. <laughs> but, yes, I like this shirt. Both this shirt. You hear my dog snoring? Both this shirt and the dark blue shirt was on sale. I want to say this one was 40% off. It's possible the dark blue one was as well. I'm not positive, but... I like wearing this shirt with this necklace and then these earrings I have worn twice with this shirt and I like how it matches. The last shirt I'm going to show in this haul, the last thing I'm going to show in this haul is this shirt. I bought it from Walmart. It has hot cocoa and it's the brand Blessed Girl. Long sleeves. I love Blessed Girl t-shirts. I have several of them and I also have 
several of the long sleeve, but y'all look at the back. Can y'all see that? <laughs> so I like the shirt, but I hope that y'all are having a wonderful Sunday. Thank y'all for watching. If you have purchased any clothing items that you want me to check out, let me know. If you have a haul that you want me to watch, let me know in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. When I reach 500 subscribers, I'm doing a big giveaway. Right now I'm at 460, 461. Welcome to all of y'all and thank you for being here. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. I've quoted it before, but it's one of my favorites. And so I'm going to quote it today. And it says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. And that is so true. I have seen that time and time again in my life. And there's also a verse, I believe it's Psalms 37, 5. It says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. He will. <laughs> I am living that right now. Let me elaborate for many years due to health issues. I couldn't drive. I could not be away from my parents. They were my caregivers. I could not be away from them or one of my sisters because of terrible seizures, panic, anxiety. God healed me of the seizures in 2022, but I still had a lot of health issues. This year I have battled a lot of anxiety and different health problems and there have been times throughout my journey I have wondered when I would be able to go back to normal normal being my version of normal I wondered when I would be able to do things that I wanted to do to be more independent well last year I had started driving a lot more because I was off seizure medicine long enough and had had long enough from my last seizure that God healed me of all of that. But still in the state of Alabama, you have to be seizure free for, I think it's a year, six months to a year. I get the two mixed up in Mississippi where I lived for a while during all the brain injury. I think it's six months in Alabama's a year or vice versa, I'm not sure. But even though I wasn't having seizures, I still had to wait before I could drive because that's the law. Plus, I had a lot of withdrawals and problems coming off of the seizure medication that I had been taking. So that was 2022 and it actually went by a lot quicker the time that I was able to drive until not able to drive until I was able to drive in 23 is when I really started driving more often in the end of November December see I, I, I was driving up until December and this year I've driven but not a lot because of health issues and let's face it when you're having panic attacks and you can hardly stand up it's not a good idea to drive <laughs> And I was having other health issues going on. I explained about the antibiotics and things in a previous video. But today, <laughs> I got to drive to church and back home by myself. First time I've done that in a long time. Well, it's the first time I've driven to church by myself and back in almost a year but it's the first time that I've driven by myself since probably spring. And I just wanna, I'm telling y'all all this, not for recognition for myself, but for recognition for God to help you see that nothing is impossible with him. About a month ago, if that, I wondered when things were gonna get better because I was battling depression and anxiety and it's easy when you battle depression and anxiety to get into this mindset of 
it's not gonna get any better if it does it's gonna be a long time you know how it is <laughs> in fact the preacher preached this morning on that and talking about how I'll paraphrase it in my words we focus more on the problem the circumstances which is easy to do instead of focusing on Jesus and praising him and being thankful for everything that he brought us through already we're supposed to call to our mind the things he's already brought us through and that encourages and uplifts us and it helps us get through the trials and when we focus on Jesus even when we don't feel like it because let's face it when you're going through the hard times it's easy to get caught up in your feelings but serving God is not a feeling you don't just serve him when you feel like it you serve him even when you don't feel like it you thank him you praise him you lift up your hands and say God you're wonderful you're amazing I worship you you are my God you are my Lord you are my Savior help me through this you are my light I'm going to trust you to direct my paths and he will it may not always happen as quick as we think it should but God is in control and his timing is perfect. There was someone that told me years ago that God is never early, he's never late, but he's always right on time. And I did not know then how much I would need to be re reminded of that in the years to come. And that has helped me so very much. But I encourage you today, whatever you're going through, give it to God, talk to him he loves you with a love that is so hard to fathom think about the person that you love the most god loves you more than that so much so that he gave his son jesus to die on the cross for our sins but he didn't stay dead he rose again and before jesus went back to heaven he told his disciples i'll send you a comforter I'll send you someone to walk with you. And he did that. He sent us the Holy Spirit. And we're never alone, even when it feels like we are. I've gone through some lonely times when I did not feel like I had a friend. I had my mama and my daddy and I had my sisters and, you know, my nephews and I had my dogs. But you get in that place where you just feel like nobody cares. And you know they do. People get caught up in their life and their day-to-day -day things. For me, I don't have friends that I just go hang out with. I hang out with my sisters. I hang out with my parents. But slowly, slowly that's changing. Like today, I, hang, I hung out with the ladies at church and that was awesome. So my whole point is, don't limit God. Don't get so caught up in the negative thoughts and in the circumstances that you're going through that you forget God's faithful. He works all things out. Romans 8 28 says, we know all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. And he does. Have faith and trust his timing because it is perfect. And if you feel like you're separated and you're far from God and you think your circumstances are more than he can handle they're not he's a big god i like another verse another few couple verses in romans you go down to 37 and it says nay in 8 37 nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loves us i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. He's amazing and I am thankful. If you need somebody to pray with you or talk to you about God, my DMs are open, my emails are open, the comments, I would love to talk to you. I, I encourage you to seek him. Jesus said that when you search for me, with all your heart, you'll find me. And I have found that true. Now, I'll tell you, a lot of times I say, Lord, show me something. Lord, talk to me. 
and then we don't listen or I don't a lot of times it takes putting your cell phone down stop scrolling on social media turn the television off and just spend time in his presence you may stand there okay God I'm listening mm-hmm you gonna talk to me and really all that is is us talking and not listening because we're impatient and we've become accustomed to everything being instant like a microwave and we think God's got to talk to us like that and like okay God I'm listening you gonna talk to me now it takes sometimes it takes just being respectful and state which we always need to be respectful but what I mean by that is just coming to him with respect with honor with reverence thanking him praising him acknowledging that he is God and I'm not and that he is worthy to be praised and then just spend time in his presence thanking him praising reading the Bible if you listen to Bible based Christian songs do that Sometimes it just takes getting on your knees and being silent and listening. And he will meet you there. He never ignores a child of his that wants to talk to God. A good daddy doesn't ignore his children. And God's the ultimate daddy. He's better than any earthly daddy ever thought about being. And there's some good ones I know. Have one. But God's even better. So I encourage you to seek him. Trust him, rely on him, and I promise you he'll meet you there. I love you, but God loves you more.